hello everyone welcome to the channel couple of days ago i did a video on this small lm2 model from hugging face and since then i have been receiving a lot of queries around how to run it in olama or in open web ui and also is it possible to run it in quantized format so in this video i am going to show you exactly how you can do that in a very very simple way if you don't know what this small lm2 is and why there is so much excitement about this model please go to my channel and then just search with this small lm2 and find this video and watch it because i have gone into way more detail around these models it their architecture and what they are all about along with the full installation and demo so in this video we will be just focusing on the olama side of things and in open web ui which is a graphical user interface which goes very nicely with olama if you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest way to run large language models in quantized format on your local system. If you are just starting out in AI, if you just want to try out model, I believe that start with Olama and also start with maybe this small LM2, which is a family of compact language models available in three sizes, 135 million, 360 million and 1.7 billion parameter model and they are capable of solving a wide range of tasks while being lightweight enough to run on a device. They are quite good in knowledge, reasoning and mathematics and I have gone into detail in my the other video which I just showed you. By the way, these models are more geared towards be, to be run on your mobile devices. I also have done just three videos and as how to run your LLMs on mobile apps. So just search with that uh, keyword on the channel and you should be able to find it or let me quickly show you sorry let me so these three videos as you can see uh, how to run olama models mobile phone and i have shown you how you can run uh, models including this small lm2 on your mobile phone anyway so let's go and try to get this thing installed on our local system let me quickly show you my system so this is the ubuntu system where i'm running it i already have olama installed if you don't know how to install it please again search my channel i already have done a video on it installation is very simple by the way all you need to do is to download olama and then for linux just run this command this is going to download it and install it for windows just download this xe and install it so i already have it installed also i already have my open web ui installed and running as you can see here so i'm not going to do it again here if you don't know how to install it again please search the channel i have already done a video on it so if i do open web ui there you go so you see there are a lot of um, videos i have done especially this, watch this second one if you don't know what open web ui is how to install it so how do we install this small lm2 model on olama and use it in open web ui first up go to hugging face and then search with small lm2 something like this and you see that these are all the small lm2 models so maybe you just go with 1.7 and then select this one instruct ggf press enter and this is the instruct page we have now grab this repo name by just clicking here so i have copied it go back to open web ui and then on the top right click on your profile click on settings then click on admin settings and from here first click on connections make sure that your olama api is, is set at localhost i'm just going to disable the open ai from here I'm just going to run this Olama API, which is running on localhost at port 11434. Then click on models. Once you click on model, you will see that Olama is already set. Now, in order to download that model from Hugging Face, all you need to do is to run this hf.co slash and paste that whole repo name here. Now, you could either go with latest or you could go here, click on files. If you don't have much VRAM, you can simply select this uh, file name and you see the quantized level is Q4KM. So instead of putting latest, you can just 
put this so i'm not going to put this i'm just going to put latest but you can also specify this tag which is a quanti quantization level uh, and if you don't know what quantization is quantization level is please again search my channel because that is a separate topic for a separate video in very simple words because we cannot run these full models on our uh, meager gpus or cpus so we just reduce their numerical representation or precision so that they take lesser memory so that is what quant level is higher the quant level the more memory they take lower the quant level the less memory they take but that impact the accuracy of the model accordingly okay now once you have done it just click on this download button on the right hand side and i can't get rid of this uh, pop up but anyway so let me download it so as soon as i have clicked it you can see that it is now downloading the model so let's wait for it to get downloaded it now it is verifying the checksum just similar to what we see in the olama and the model is now downloaded now you can just go back to your uh, new chat here and then you can select the model so if you select the model from the top you will see that this is the model we have i just selected it and now let's chat with it before i do that let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page it is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for okay so let's go back and you can just start chatting with it let me try something so i have asked it what is happiness and the model has responded in a very very fine way as you can see that happiness is a fundamental human experience and all that stuff so model is a very good quality and remember this is just 1.7 billion model and in the gguf format which is quite interesting and i believe the only quant available was q4 it is not even the highest quant available but still if you read through this response the response is quite coherent and of a very good quality and let's quickly ask another one so i am asking it which of these objects is not like the others apple banana potato chair so let me run it and look at uh, the response what a delightful question at first glance it seems like an impossible task to distinguish one object from another as they all share the certain characteristic so you see app now it is going step by step so this is a logical reasoning which i really like about it so it is talking about what apple is what banana is lastly a chair is a piece of furniture designed for sitting and then upon, upon closer inspection we find that the object not like that there is actually a potato potatoes are plants part of the nightshade family now it is chair but look at the reasoning of the model i think it has gone way too deep with more critical <laughs> critical lens so this is what i mean when i say that the accuracy gets impacted by the quantization but other than that it has gone through all the logic and reasoning in a very impressive way by the way okay let's try out a coding one i'm just asking it to show me a python script to write a mendel plot set it is running locally and look at the speed i will also show you my gpu consumption in a minute so you see the code looks quite good really good not bad at all not only it has written the code but also has given it uh, what exactly that code is doing so let me quickly take you there and i'm just going to show you my gpu consumption so i have this 48 gpu of vram uh, with nvidia rtx a6000 and at the moment it is just com consuming 3.4 gig which is not bad so and by the way this gpu and system is sponsored by mast compute if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so do check them out 
Thanks for all the support and thanks for watching. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel.